Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Karen's Kitchen. I'm making the cashew cheese like I said I was going to today. I've got my uh, tripod set back. Hi, Arlene, because I've got to use my stove for the agar agar in the water. Um, so you're going to see me do everything in the Vitamix to start with because everything has to be mixed up in there. Um, and I'll tell you that um, I thank you for everybody coming in. Thank you for sharing this out. Let's go forward so you can see it a little bit better. Um, and my daughter's here, so hi, sweetie. Um, as you can see, I have a cup. I have it. <clears throat> hi, good to see you. Welcome. Let me go ahead and share this out before I, before I get started. I'll ask for a share, and then I'm going to go ahead and share it out. And then um, I like to do that to get, get, to get started. Um, thank you for everybody coming in and sharing this out, inviting your followers. That's awesome. That's very that's awesome. You guys are you guys are so amazing. Hi Libby. Good to see you. Welcome. Um, okay, now um, what I have in here is a cup of raw cashews. And I'm gonna tell you what I'm putting in here as I'm putting it in here. Now, most of you've done the vitamin well I'll be done the vitamix, except the agar agar and the water will be done on the stove, but then that gets dumped in the vitamix afterwards. Okay. Now I'm gonna add in a third cup of water. And I've got a third cup of water measured out right here and I'm going to put that in here. I probably have to use my tamper, so you'll have to bear with me on that one. Um, five tablespoons, it says lemon juice freshly squeezed. Well, I don't have any lemons because I wasn't going to go to the store to get any today, so I'm just going to put the what I have from here into here. This is hard to get five tablespoons out of a lemon anyway. I don't know why they want so much lemon juice. It sounds like an awful lot, but maybe you, you need it for this. It's calls for things that I don't have, um, that I don't put in there, like cayenne pepper and Dijon mustard. I won't put those in here because I don't care for either one of them. Because I don't like spicy and hot. So I won't put those in there. Thank you all for coming in. Let me put this back. <laughs> Now I need uh, two tablespoons of coconut oil, and that I've got in my microwave that I went and that I went and melted. And I'll put that in here. And it takes a uh, one half of a medium carrot peeled. Well, I cut it up because I don't want to put it in there. Whole, so I so I cut it up. The other and the other half I'm eating. So if you see me eating, it's the other half of the carrot. Um, and a quarter cup of tahini, which I have that measured out right here. A quarter cup of tahini. Everybody knows this is this is sesame seeds. The tahini is hard to find. You might be able to find it at your health food store. There's a store I shop at here that has tahini. Hi, Tammy. Good to see you. So I can buy it there. Um, and a half, okay, I got the tahini and medium carrot. And a two and a half teaspoons of salt and paprika. Two and a half teaspoons of salt. Okay. Hope I don't get more in here than I really, whoa. I'm just going to kind of just wing it a little bit. I don't want to get too much, but I'll just pour some in here. Because you can actually get too much in here, and I just... I'm just gonna just judge, just about like that. Probably be more than I really need, but if it tastes like salt, it's my fault. <laughs> um, okay, and an eighth of a teaspoon of paprika. Okay, I've got my eighth of a teaspoon. Where did I put that? Oh, I got another one here. Eighth of a teaspoon. An eighth of a teaspoon of paprika. That doesn't take very much paprika. I got smart today. I went and found everything before I came online so I wouldn't have to be hunting for everything like I did the other day with my spice. Oh, and I said I didn't have any, uh, um, the time. I found it after the Periscope was over. <laughs> Welcome, John. Um, please do not talk about bugs in my Periscope. You, don't, you did it with um, Alexis this morning. Don't talk about bugs in here, please. Because I'm not eating bugs. Okay, and then I need... 
um, a, let's see, one teaspoon of garlic powder or, or flakes, which I'd rather use. I have the powder. One teaspoon of garlic powder. Like I said, I don't put the, I'm not putting the Dijon mustard in here, and I'm not putting in the uh, cayenne pepper. However, I am putting in the nutritional yeast, a quarter cup of nutritional yeast, and I will go ahead and have to make it to a different different measuring cup because that one's full. Well, unless I rinse it off and dry it off because it it had um, wet stuff in it, I'll just dry it off and I'll just put my bench dry nutritional yeast. So how's everybody's day going so far? How's everybody's day going? What kind of weather are you having today? Um, we're going to be 87 today, so I feel like um, I'm living in Georgia along with uh, Alexis. <laughs> A quarter cup of nutritional yeast. Okay. All right. And I'll get my nutrition. I got my nutritional yeast right here, and I'll put this in here. To get a spoon. This nutritional yeast gives it a cheesy flavor. A lot of people won't use it, but I love to use it. And if you can, you want to know about nutritional yeast, you can buy it at Amazon. I bought a big, whole big, I think a pound of it or something. I bought it at Amazon and I, and I. It's slowly using up. That's all I've got left. What's in that container? There we go. Now, okay. I think I've got everything in there. The only thing left is a cup of water on the agar agar, but that's on the stove, so I don't need that. Um, so I'm going to mix everything together. The trishies and the garlic powder to the to a blender, but blend until very smooth, and leave the mix in the blender and set aside. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in. The, Mix this up and leave it in here and set it aside. And I will take this off in case I need my tamper. Just in case I need it. I may not, but I'm going to be ready for it if I do. Bring this down so that you can see what I'm doing on the stove. I haven't got the water heated up. I just hope this doesn't tip over. Hopefully, it'll be fine. It's really going to be tipped down there, way down. So I won't be able to see your comments. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on, get this water hot. Let me turn my fan off so it doesn't cool the water off. Um, I got a cup of water in here right now. And what I'm going to do is, as soon as the water gets heated, I'm going to shut this off for a minute. Shut this off until I'm ready to use it. Until water gets heated, and then I'm going to add my agar agar. Um, you, and the thing of it is, with this, you have to work very, very fast. I'm getting a smaller spoon. You have to work very fast because it ta it takes a long time to, um, or it doesn't take very long. Hi, Missy. Good to see you. It doesn't take very long for it to thicken up. Hi, Linda. Good to see you. Good, hi, good to see you. You guys are way down. I've got to look way down to see you, but I can see you. As I'm trying to do my agar and agar, I've got everything mixed in the in here already, the cheese. I just didn't put the cayenne pepper, and uh, you won't be able to see it until I put the agar agar. The cayenne pepper and the uh, um, Dijon mustard, because I don't care for either one. So um, what I'm right now is I'm on my stove trying to get my water heated up. And as soon as my water gets hot and boiling, I believe I have to get boiling, but let me sh let me check to make sure. And heats during regularly until boiling. Okay, all right. I gotta put the agar 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 in there before it starts boiling. Okay, there. You can see I just put that in there. This stuff is very good stuff, but it it really 
it really thickens fast. So once, once I, I'm going to take this off, because once I get this done, I have got to get it poured in my blender as quick as I can and start blending as fast as I can because it'll thicken up. It'll start gelling up even in the blender. Um, that's what the agar does. Just as soon as this comes boiling, it'll be on a thick side. It gets like gel, uh, real gelatinous. If anybody's ever used agar, agar, you know what I'm talking about. It's a, it's a very, um, it's a very, it's a very good um, thickener. Um, use it for Jello. Use it for things like this. Um, cheeses especially, because you want a, you want a cheese that you can slice it. That's what this is going to be a cheese that I can slice. You can also grate it, you can, and it also melts. So you got the best of both worlds, which is very, very good. So um, I think it's going to be a real good cheese. And you can see my stirring, stirring, because I don't want this stuff to, you have to, with, with, you, with agar, agar, you got to keep stirring. You can't let it sit. Not for one little bit, because it's going to sit in your pan and you're not going to get it out. So once it gets, once it gets boiling in here, then I take it out. Make sure I've got that right. And they say to use powder, powder for the agar, agar, not flakes, because they say the flakes might not work. She, that woman said she's never used the flakes. She'd have to use three times as much, and it's not as potent. So, um, so this once this sets up, I've got to put it in my dish, and I'm going to have to put some some uh, grease in my. Um, I'll do that for a little bit. I'm going to get some. Some coconut oil, and this is the dish I'm going to put it in. I don't have I don't have any spray. I don't like use pan or anything. I'm gonna put it in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a napkin and I'm going to take some coconut oil and I'm going to um, coat the bottom of that, so I, or all the way around on it, so I spray around on it, so it doesn't stick. Because what you have to be able to do is once it's set up, and you do set it up in the refrigerator, but I will set up out in the air too. Um, you can you take it out and you. Um, Serve it on a plate because this, I guess, this stuff will. Um, the, uh, to me, this coconut oil is much better to grease in a container than your your. I don't believe in using um, Pam or anything like that. So if anybody does it, you know that's totally up to you. But I really don't like using it. I don't think it's very good stuff to use. It's better to take your take coconut oil and just grease it that way. It still that'll still suffice. And you know that coconut oil I'm using is organic, refined, non-GMO. I'm going to put my fan back on real quick. Getting low, getting hot today. There we go. So, better back and stir this again. See, it's trying to, it's trying to uh, thicken up just a little bit. It hasn't yet, but I want to make sure I have the same. I, mean, this, I think this bowl will work fine. It's brown bowl because it's got good sides on it. Um, they call it a round, a round bowl, bowl or dish or, you know, or a ramekin. I don't even know what that is. So, I... I think that, and I bought these at Walmart. There was a set of three of them, three different sizes, and these make real good for, for. Uh, in fact, when I did my uh, corn chowder, or what was left, I put it in here, and put it and uh, put it in the refrigerator. And then when I heated it up, I heated it up in here, and dish it up in a bowl, and it was so good. So, oops, I gotta be careful. It hasn't started to come to heat um, yet, but. Sure, I got the, yeah, I got the right burn on. Because sometimes I put the wrong burn on. I don't want to put. I don't want to take my nutritional yeast container and, and uh, melt it. So I want to make sure it was on the right one. It is. So you can see I'm just stirring and stirring and stirring until it comes to a boil. Oh yeah, it's getting hot. It's not. It's not hot enough yet, but it's coming. I know this is probably boring to you, but I couldn't do this first. This cannot be done first because. It would, have, it would have set up in my pan so bad I wouldn't have been able to get it out of the pan. And I have to be able to get it out of the pan to put it into the blender so that I can blend it up. This is what makes it so you can slice it. Without this agar, agar powder in the water, you would not be able to slice it. So like I said, you'll be able to slice it, you'll be able to grate it, and it does melt. So that's awesome. And uh, it does look, as you can see, it does look very good right now. Put this in there. This is what it looks like. It's nice and smooth, and once I get this in there, then uh, 
it ought to be really nice. I just got to get this get this hot. I know I hate I hate it trying to watch a pot boil. They say a watch pot never boils. <laughs> but I, I'm trying to get this uh, boiling real quick. Um, and this pan is just a small pan I bought at Walmart. Just have a smaller size pan. I mean, it works fine for things like this. So, since Pampered Chef doesn't have a smaller one like this, um, I hope they come out with a smaller one like this eventually. But this one works fine. Um, it's got a lid with it and everything, glass lid. So, so what's everybody's? So what's everybody's uh, temperature today? Um, like I said, we're going to be 87. So what's your what's your temperature? Um, are you on the hot side? Because I know we're gonna be, I'm gonna probably be we're gonna be as hot as Alexis today, even hotter. I gotta get my I've got to water my grass today. I didn't water it yesterday. I left it sit for a day because it was a little on the cooler side yesterday and it was still a little moist. But I'm gonna have to run it today and run it for a few hours and then turn it off before I go to bed and then run it again tomorrow. So. Are you having are you having hot weather, cool weather, sunny weather, rainy weather, or what kind of weather are you having today? Um, oh, that's ideal after yes, rain cools weather. Boy, that's that's nice, Linda. Wow, fifty four. I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't do good, like I said, in hot weather, eighty seven degrees. But here in Oregon, we 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 got the type of, of summers that. The rain shuts off in the month of May, which it has already, and it won't rain again until, until probably November. That's how bad it gets here. Really bad. It gets really, really bad. It... Yeah, you're right. Better than evil. We're going to be 87 today, and I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> we had rain here in Texas, so it cooled the weather down a lot. It was 69. But the rain came, so it's good. Oh, that's good. Hundred and sixteen thousand Twitter followers. Whoa! I don't know if that's a troll or whatever. You guys keep an eye out for me because with it being the way it position it's in, it's going to be hard for me to block anybody. If you see somebody that needs to be muted, like if Libby sees somebody or Arlene or my daughter, take care of them for me. And got Linda in here. Um, welcome back, Tammy. I think she must be having problems. And I didn't think she was going to come in today, but I'm glad she's here. Oh, you better not be a you better you be, you better not be a troll because uh, we don't keep we don't have trolls in here. I don't want any drama or any kind of any kind because I've got I've got people in here that are looking out for me, so Oh wonderful! Awesome! awesome. That is awesome. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Hi Tasha. Thank you for clarifying that. I just wanted to make sure because I don't block people unless I know for sure what's going on. So thank you for telling me. You're welcome to stay in here. Um, how long have you been a vegan? I've only been a vegan a little bit more than two years. Um, and it's it's a real good lifestyle for me, and I feel real good about it. Um, you know, there's there's a lot more vegans out there than we really realize. You know, I, I don't know. If, I think I'm about the only vegan now that really does an actual full cooking scope. There are vegans that scope, but they scope what they've already fixed. I think I'm the only, uh, unless there's other, other ones out there that I don't know about. She was 18 in college? Oh my, oh my. Oh yes, yes, right. Health has a lot, to, oh 27 years now, wow. That's awesome. You've been a vegan a long time. I've only been a vegan a little more than two years. Um, that's awesome. You find out that being a vegan is the best is the best thing for you. But I don't come in here, you know, to force any. Um, I I suppose so. I don't think I've seen any others myself. Um, my, you know, and that's amazing. Thank you for sharing it out and and following because uh, that's why I come in here. I do nothing but vegan scopes, um, except on the weekend. Sometimes I'll do Christian scopes, but. When I do cooking scopes, they're all vegan. And most of the people that come in here are, are not vegan. Uh, type 2 diabetes. And the best thing is, oh, yes. Um, wow. Type 2 diabetes, yeah. You know something? I can tell you this. And I, I don't know much about it, but I'm just going to say this. I says, with being, have, being a type two di having type 2 diabetes, sure shooting. If you, if you uh, start eating properly like plant-based diet, 
becoming a vegan, you might be able to reverse that. Um, now, like I said, I'm not a doctor and I'm not a nurse, but it seems only logical that if you start eating properly, you can reverse it. You know, a lot of people don't understand that their health has, has a lot to do with what they're eating, the way they're eating, you know. Um, they have lung problems, breathing problems, just because of what they're eating. Um, yeah, it does. I think you're right. It does cures a lot of health issues. You're absolutely right. Absolutely. And I find it's best for me. But when I come in here, I don't force anybody to be a vegan because that's totally up to them. I know what's best for me. Uh, yes, it is. You're absolutely right. It is a well-balanced. Yeah, absolutely. It is a well-balanced lifestyle. But like I said, I don't come in here and, and make everybody become vegan because not everybody's going to want to. That's up to them. My daughter's not vegan. Alexis is not vegan. Most of them in here, sugar drop, and then are not vegan. But they like to come in and watch me periscope because they learn so much from me. And they can still do my recipes whether they're vegan or not. Uh, wonderful. Wonderful, Joyful. That's, yes, absolutely. You know, I think he's right. That's what I said. You can reverse it by starting to eat better. Because who wants to live with diabetes? A lot of people die from it without even realizing that if they just started eating a little bit better, they could have reversed it, you know. Um, oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's hard, isn't it? Oh, well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I do what I can, you know. Like I said, I don't force anybody to become vegan. And you know, people in here know that. The ones that are following me know that I'm not going to force them to become vegan. I'm not going to say, well, I'm not going to shake my fist at them and say, you got to become vegan and right now. I won't do that. Um, oh, yes, meds are awful. Yeah, no screenshots today. Oh, wonderful, Libby. <laughs> Good. Yes, those ones that are on meds, you know something? On meds, they don't realize that uh, those meds are doing them more harm than good. They'd be better off to be off the meds. Because the meds are just causing more problems than if they if they didn't take them at all. But that's what the doctors do. They force you to take the meds because they say you need them. No, you don't. You don't need them. But they say you you, you got to have them. You don't you don't have to have them. They just they just think you do. Um, well, wonderful. I'm glad you found me too, and thank you thank you for coming in because I hope you find my my scopes very valuable. Oh, I'm just wonderful. I've got my, <laughs> my tripod all the way down because I'm doing my agar, agar, and water on the stove. Um, I'm thankful that, that you can come in here like this and, and that you enjoy watching me periscope. Like I said, there's a lot of people in here that are watching me periscope, my daughter and Sugar Drop and some of these that are not, and Missy, that are not vegan, but they love watching my periscopes because I've got good content. And if they want, if they want to leave these things not vegan, they can make them, you know, put, put regular meat in them if they want to. Um, oh, good. <laughs> Hi, good to see you. I don't know. It's it's taken a long time to boil. It's, it, yeah, it's, it's, maybe I should put it on high. Let me put it up on high. I had it on medium. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, I had it on medium. With on medium, it's going to take a lot longer. I'll put it up on high which I should have done in the beginning. You know, I've always used to use a medium on there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, listen to mom. But I was not vegan during uh, my childhood. I was not, I was not vegan in my childhood. Not at all. I did not, I ate, I ate meat like everybody else in my childhood. So I've only been vegan two years. So I ate, a, I ate meat and now I've realized that it's better off for me not to eat meat. So that's why I'm not. Uh, who was moderated? Um, was somebody moderated that I didn't see? Who was moderated? I didn't see anybody being moderated. Um, oh, here, now it's starting to boil. I'm gonna turn this off. Now it's starting to boil. Now I have to leave my, I have to leave my, uh, have to leave my tripod back because I don't want to get it on my burner or getting on my. Now I'm gonna have to work fast. This, where's my lid? Oh, yeah, I gotta find my lid real quick. Oh, come on, Karen, where'd you put your lid? Oh, here. <laughs> oh, put this like this. All right, I'm all flustered. Let me put this back up. There we go. 
Now, I'm going to get this going. of the uh, cashews. There's nothing wrong with it. It just makes a lot of racket. Let me try this. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you. Wow. Mm, wow. I, got a, I did put a little too much salt in it, but I think I can live with it. Um, that's what I thought. I ended up putting too much salt in it, but it's really good. Um, huh. I got a little carried away with the salt, I do believe. So let me get my, see what this looks like? Look at that. I'm going to get my spatula. Um, I'll use this in front of the blades, like I said. Um, and I'm going to get a, I'll get one of these. Erlene had sent me these. She had bought these for, for the Vitamix. I thought they would work real, real good. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't boil quicker. I should have put it up on, on uh, high heat to begin with. I had it on medium heat and it just wouldn't boil. That wasn't any of your fault. It was mine. Actually, I think this container is a little big. But this, I'm going to put it in here anyway. Because I want something to clear up the sides so I can... I can uh, work with it. You can always move this out of here. Uh, okay. Making a mess. But we'll get out. We'll get it here. This is not easy to do. That's one thing, that's one thing I hate about the about the uh, Vitamix, the container. It's got a lot of stuff under the under the blades and you gotta keep working with it to get it out. I try to scrape it out the best I can. The bigger one work faster. Yeah, put just a little bit of salt in too. And can't, put the salt in, you can't take it out. But I'm going to eat it anyway. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 yeah. I don't want to put water in here, though. I don't want to make it. It'll be easier to. Yes, it'll be easier. But I can. I wash it on the machine. But um, I don't want to put it in hot water while I'm doing this because I don't want to thin it out. Because you want it to look like cheese, and I don't want it look. I don't want it to be real runny. Um, that's why I'm not doing that. I don't want it to be real, real runny. I'm trying to get out what I can. This is not an easy, can easy thing to clean out. Wow, you can see it looks really good. Vitamixes are great, but I'll tell you, when it comes to cleaning them up, there's where the problem lies. Of course, this container can be washed on the on the machine, which is which is fantastic. I do that all the time. Wash it on the machine. I'll have to show you sometime how you clean it. It's awesome how you clean it. <laughs> clean up my mess. This actually tastes very good. Mm. Cashew cheese. Like I said, I'll be able to slice it. Be able to. It's going to set up out here, right here on the counter, even before I set it in the refrigerator. It's going to set up. The reason I, the reason I greased this, was so that when it sets up after it's been set up in the refrigerator, I can I can tip it over and dump it out onto a plate. Because if you don't grease it, it's not going to come out. So. I guess I can do get most of that out of there. I don't want to. I don't want to waste any of this. There's a lot in here, and I don't want to waste it. But I'll do what I can 
to try to get this out of here. Really making it, you know, good cooks make a mess. Gonna make a mess. You know, I'll have to run it under water for sure. So, you can let me clean this off a little bit, and you can see this is what it looks like. Let me go ahead and kind of smooth it out a little bit. Didn't need this big of a container, but I'm just going to leave it in here because I don't want to dirty up another one. Mm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> it tastes like cheese. What do you think? Does it look like cheese? Mm. Wow! <laughs> Thank you. What do you think? Doesn't this look good? Mm. Look at that. It's a uh, you, and it's healthy for you too. You know, it's hey, it's a lot healthier. It's a lot healthier than than the cheese you buy in the store. I don't I don't uh, buy the cheeses in the store anymore like your American cheese, your cheddar cheese. I don't buy them in the store. If I look like I'm far away, I can't do anything about it because of my burner. I don't want to get my tripod on there and, and end up ruining the legs. But anyway, this, um... Oh yeah, I know. Right. Um, that, yeah, run the kitchen, can, can I, uh, yes, that's what this will be. That's what this will be. You can slice it and you can grate it. That's why I put a, put um, your coconut oil. They say to use uh, you know oil spray, but I've used coconut oil. And just put coconut oil in here. And when it sets up in the refrigerator, then you tip it over onto a plate. It becomes a block. Um, <laughs> yeah, it becomes a block of cheese. But this will be sliceable. It'll be grateable, and it melts. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Um, sliceable, grateable, and it melts. You can't go wrong. I mean, look at the looks of it. Doesn't that look good? With that nutritional yeast, gives it a good flavor as well. It's got garlic powder in it. And those that want to know what the ingredients are, um, can tell you. It's uh, got a cup of your raw cashews. Um, not, no roasted or anything, no salt in the cashews. Just raw cashews. A third of a cup of water, which I put in the blender. Yeah, I know. On the out to get the cheese out. Yeah, I know. I've got water in it right now. I've got water in it right now. See, I've got wa <laughs> I've got water sitting in it right now. Let's just let it soak a little bit. Let it go for a while. But I can't leave it like that. I'll have to uh, dump that water out because I've got to I've got to clean it in the machine. Well, I could actually show you how, to clean, how, how it cleans, but it's going to be kind of harder. Whoops, i got to take my... Get my spatula out here. I'm just going to have to leave this soaking here for a while. I can't show you how to clean it. It's, it's really easy to clean it. It runs, on the, it runs in the machine. But I'll, I'll, I'll stand here and talk to you for a while. I'll just leave that soak for a while. Because I need to clean it, and I need to uh, let, it, let it soak to get the stuff out of there. Um, Oh, not in and outside of it. Oh, warm water. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, not on the, uh, oh, I see what you mean. So that loosens it on the inside. Okay, gotcha. Sorry, I'm sorry I misinterpreted what you said. All right, let me do that. Let me do that. I don't know how that does it, but I guess if it does, it does. Yeah, I guess you're right, it does. <laughs> I guess it does. It does loosen it. It does loosen it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it slides right out. Yeah, I do. It's all, it's all right. I put it on the outside. It's, um, yeah. <laughs> I did. I, I wish I'd have seen those comments before, but, you know, it's trial and error. Uh, I've never done it that way before. I didn't know you could do that. Now I've learned something. See, coming in here, I've learned something from you. I've learned that what I can do to get it out easier. <laughs> you know, 
we all make mistakes, you know. And I've used the Vitamix a, a lot, but yet I've never known that to run hot water on the outside of it to kind of loosen it up on the inside. Boy, I should have known, I guess. You know, I don't know if Erlene does it that way or not, but I guess I should have known. But that's the way you, you learn. You, you, you learn by doing. Oh, hi, Sam. Good to see you. Welcome. Thank you for coming in. Um, oh, <laughs> I'm glad you're here to help me write. I'm glad you're here to help because we I need all the help I can get. <laughs> I make lots of mistakes for sure. I really do. But um, even without the Dijon mustard in here and without the cayenne pepper, this is very good. Because I don't like spicy stuff. The mustard would probably give it another yellow color. But I've got the nutritional yeast that kind of gave it that pretty color. I like the flavor, I, and I really like this. It really looks nice. It's set up. It's going to set up nice. It sets up real nice, and I'll set it in the refrigerator. I didn't say how long to set it in the refrigerator. I don't know what if it says. Um, refrigerate until set. Then should remove from the bowl, turn upside down onto a plate. So I don't know how long it takes to set. Um, well, yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I know. I know. He, yeah, he's a vegan, so he invited all the Twitter followers. I appreciate that. <laughs> Boy, if, if I had 116,000 come in my my Periscope, I would think I won the lottery, I'll tell you. <laughs> I've, I've only been featured just a few times. Um, I haven't been featured for a couple of years, so I'm not really worried about it. You know, I'm not one of the lucky ones to get featured. I don't know, the cooking scopes never do get featured. But I did get featured when I did an Alfredo sauce. I think it was back 2017, I did an Alfredo sauce in October and I got featured then. But I haven't been featured since then. Um, you have more on you. I have a YouTube channel as well. I put my Periscopes up on YouTube channel. Um, because I do have people that, that uh, don't always get into Periscope and they like to watch my videos on YouTube. Um, okay. I will tell you. Um, one cup of raw cashews. No, no uh, salt or anything on them. They're just plain raw. Uh, a third, uh, a third cup of water. You add a third cup of water to it. Five tablespoons of lemon juice, freshly squeezed. I didn't have any lemon, so I had to take it out of the bottle. Uh, two tablespoons of coconut oil. I melted that first. A quarter cup of tahini. Thirty-five dollars on Periscope. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 30, uh, half a uh, uh, half a medium carrot peeled, two and a half uh, teaspoons of salt, and I should probably use less salt because I think that's a little bit too much. But anyway, um, a quarter teaspoon of paprika, an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, but I don't have that in here, but it calls for that, and a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. If anybody wants to make this, when I post it, post it up on my Facebook page, I'll post up all the ingredients, and I will tell you what I used and what I didn't. So if somebody in here wants to use the Dijon mustard or they want to use the cayenne pepper, feel free to do that. Um, well, you just downloaded it an hour ago? Wow. Um, and one quarter cup of nutritional yeast, uh, one teaspoon of garlic powder or flakes, and then you have the cup of water in your, in your saucepan plus one tablespoon of agar agar. And in case you don't know what the agar agar is, this is, what the, this is what the agar agar is. This is what I use to thicken it with. That I put in my cup of water and stirred it and stirred it, stirred it to get it salt, to get it melt uh, boiled, but that's what how you thicken it. Without it, it will not. This will not set up without the agar. See, this is setting up already. I put it in the fridge; it'll even set up more. Um, it has to go in the fridge. But see, it sets up even out here. It sets up quite fast. I'll put it in the fridge until set, and probably before I go to bed tonight, I can put it up on a plate. But it's awesome that you can make your own cheese. It becomes like a round block of cheese. You cut it off. Man, to slices, put the slices on your, on your, uh, you're welcome. Put the slices on your, uh, anything you want. You could put it on crackers. Um, you could put it on a sandwich, you know, um, whether you have a burger, whatever, a cheeseburger, whatever. Although, I'm, since I'm vegan, I wouldn't. I'd have a tofu burger and put that on it. But you could put it on anything. Um, it might even work in lasagna, maybe. I'm not sure. It might, possible. Um, but, there's uh, endless possibilities, but I like to keep cashews on hand because I I saw this cashew cheese and I thought this is easy to make. It's not hard to make at all. Very simple to make, and it I mean it come out so nice. You can see that it's got a nice crisp yellow color. Um, 
I know it was a little noisy in the Vitamix, and that's because of the cashews. But it, see what it did? It pulverized everything. You can't see the carrot. You can't see anything in there. It's all gone. It's all in the in the cheese. I also have a cheese sauce that I make that calls for carrots and potatoes that's done on the Vitamix as well. Although that does not um, set up and, yeah, and um, yeah, probably. Uh, well, it calls for Dijon mustard. It calls for Dijon mustard, but I didn't put that in there. Um, so I, I, uh, oh, is that, was that a bad person? Um, no, I don't think he was, sweetie. You can go in. No, go ahead and, and unmute him. He's okay. He's, he's one of my friends on, 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 on Messenger. Go back and unmute him. Go back and just hit, and just, uh, tap on it. Or, uh, was that the person that said what, he, I didn't see it. Let me go back. What did he say? What did he say? Um. What what it did? What did he say? Oh, he sure did. He sure did. Let me go ahead and block him. Absolutely. He. Uh, yeah. I see it. I see it. I got him. I got him. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. I saw it. I went back and I saw what you moderated him. I got him off. Um, there's a Bill Barnes on my Paris on my messenger list, but. <laughs> you know, people like to come in here and start drama. And if I'd have seen it, I'd have, I'd have told him. I says, "Well, God bless you anyway." You know, people like to start drama. I just just get rid of them. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. I I saw that. I saw that sh uh, sugar dot. I went back when I saw what she moderated. And I saw it then. And, and uh, see, I'm, that's why I have the moderators in here. You catch things that I don't catch, because broadcasters we don't always see. Um, uh, I didn't. Well, I didn't see that. You, I saw him come in, but I didn't see what he's what he said. And then I saw my daughter mute him, and I couldn't figure out why. So I went back, and and then I saw what he said, and I go, yeah, mute him. I, and I blocked him. He can't come back in here unless he makes another account. Um, oh, he has been saying that sh a long. Uh, because we've had people. Remember, we've had people come in here calling evil slum lord. And all that we've had, we've had, I've had drama in here quite often where they call me an evil slum lord, you know, and I don't take care of my dogs. I beat my dogs and all this and that. He's he's probably one of those that made a fake account of me, um, so he's gone now. He has he can't say anything. I do have a Bill Barnes on my on my messenger. And I thought that's who it was, but it's somebody trying to try to be him, I guess. You know, it's terrible. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. What do you think of my cheese? Doesn't this look good? This is a cheese that's sliceable, it melts, and you can grate it. That's one thing about this. You know, because Alexis takes um, regular cheese like Parmesan cheese, she buys it in block and grate it. You can take this and grate it. You don't have to make your own cheese, let it set up in the refrigerator and grate it. If you need it for like a, like a, a simple Parmesan cheese, you can use this in place of Parmesan cheese. I don't see why not you, because you can grate it. Grate it just like Parmesan cheese. That's I think is awesome because I like I like I like cheese on my tofu burgers or any burgers I have I love cheese on it, but I don't want to buy the American slices I don't want to buy the the cheddar slices in the store so I thought well I'm going to find me a cheese that I can make that I don't have to do that well there you go cashew cheese cashews are the main ingredient a cup of it is all it takes raw cashews nothing else you don't have no oil in them or anything just raw and I keep them in the refrigerator so they don't go rancid on me uh, so and and I'll have to buy some more because I'm just getting bought, bought out but I have enough to do this anyway but oh cashews are so much so much easy so much cheaper than almonds I use cashews a lot more than I use almonds um, you can use almonds but you you can make an almond cheese too probably pretty much the same way um, although I didn't I I have not made that in a long time um, Oh, you need to watch my replay. Yeah, I kind of bung bungalowed a little bit trying to get my cheese out of my my Vitamix. But look at that. Doesn't it look good? It's already setting up. But I have to put it in the refrigerator, finish setting up. And then when it's set up, then I turn it over onto a plate, which I put, which I grease this with coconut oil. Put it on, because it's going to be a block of cheese, round cheese. Turn it over onto a plate, and you can slice it. Slice it. It melts, and you can grate it. So you can put it on lasagna. You could probably put it in... in 
macaroni and cheese too if you wanted to. Whatever you wanted to put it for, you know. Because <clears throat> I like cheese, but I don't want to eat what's in the store. That stuff's got all of the crazy stuff in it. Yeah, it doesn't. And I'll tell you what it has in it. Like I said, it's got a cup of raw cashews, and I use a third cup of water, two, uh, five tablespoons of lemon juice. And they said freshly squeezed. I didn't have no lemon, so I, I just took it out of the bottle. Um, two tablespoons of coconut oil, and I melted that. A quarter cup of tahini, and people, uh, that's, a, that's, that's sesame seeds um, um, liquid. And um, then a half a medium carrot peeled, and this is the other half that I'm eating on. Um, and been washed and everything. Uh, two and a half teaspoons of salt, which I put it, probably shouldn't have put that much in there. I should put a little bit less, but you know, when I make it the next time, I'll cut it back. Um, a quarter teaspoon of paprika, uh, and it calls for an eighth of a teaspoon of, of uh, cayenne pepper and a one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. I, I omitted those because I don't like those. Cayenne pepper is too spicy. Dijon mustard, I'm not a mustard fan, so I don't use that. Um, and I did put a tablespoon, um, uh, a quarter cup of nutritional yeast in there, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then I have a cup of water with a tablespoon of agar agar powder on your stove. That's why that's how this sets up, because it wouldn't be a block of cheese without the agar agar, because the agar agar is a thickening agent, and it will it'll boil up into your pot, and then when you put it in your uh, blender with the rest of it, it's it helps this to set up. Otherwise, it wouldn't set up, and you can see how it's how it's setting up already. It's coming out just like the cheese would. Let's all set in the refrigerator. But does but I mean look at that. Look at that. I mean, you can't go wrong. I mean, doesn't that look good? I mean, look at the color of it. It's, I mean, it's awesome, the color. It's very, very pretty. You can make your own stu stuff if you really put your mind to it. If you really want to make make your stuff, just just get a recipe out and follow it. That's what I love. I loved love finding new recipes. Um, this I found, I think, on Pinterest yesterday. I found several recipes yesterday. And I thought, well, I'll save this for today because it would be real easy to do. I was planning on doing a tofu uh, lasagna tomorrow. I want to do that, but then I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to stay for potluck or not. It's a little much for me to eat. But I'm, I'm thinking about it. If I go, if I stay for potluck on Sabbath, I'll fix it. If not, I'll save it for some other time. Because we've got a potluck next week, too. But um, I don't know what I'm going to make tomorrow yet. i I got to plan that out. If I don't make that, I'll make something else. Or we'll just have a chatting scope. Um, yeah, I know it's a lot of fun, isn't it? Finding new recipes. And some of them aren't as good as I thought they would be. The ones yesterday when I made the, the muffins weren't as good as I liked. They didn't taste as good as I thought they would. So I'm not fond of them at all. So I won't make those again. But that's the way it goes. Sometimes the recipes aren't very good, and you end up not making them again. Most of the recipes I've made, though, I'll make again. This and I'll make again. I'll make the uh, corn chowder again. The mac and cheese I've made a couple times. I did some corn on the cob for lunch today in my quick, cook, quick cooker for three minutes. People, if you haven't seen that periscope that I did, that was last week, I did corn on the cob. Um, it comes out, or was it earlier in the week? Maybe it was early in the week, I don't know, but it was just absolutely delicious. It, made, it was sweet, only three minutes on high pressure, and then I released the pressure um, manually, quick release, come out perfect. Um, yeah, I'm, it's not a very good, it's probably not a very good, uh, huh, yeah, probably not very good, uh, Linda. Oh, what is this one? Oh, yeah, oh, it is. Tofu, soy sauce, sauteed mushrooms. Well, I don't eat mushrooms either. They're an acquired taste. So I don't really eat those either. Um, not everybody likes those either. So, um, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> I just don't care for anything <clears throat> for mushrooms. Anything with mushrooms, I if a recipe calls for mushrooms, I leave it out because I don't like mushrooms in, in anything either. Um, it's an acquired taste. There's a lot of things that are acquired tastes, and if I don't like something, I'm not going to put it in there because I don't want to, um, you know, end up throwing it out because I didn't like the taste of it. So I have to make sure that I'm going to like it first before I I I make it. So um, yeah, I, I'm sure that. I'm sure it didn't. It's not a very good thing to say, Linda. It's um, yeah, it's not. They're not. They've been kept up because they're property management. And they're keeping up, and that's not that's that's not slums. They were both remodeled, so they're not. I'm not a slumlord because they were both remodeled. I put a lot of money into both of them, several thousand dollars in both of them to fix them up.
Yeah, I know. No, I don't. People keep wanting me to make one. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I do own property, um, Sugar Drop. I am I am a tenant. All right, a tenant. I am a landlord, but I have it but with a property management company. It's a duplex, and they and they take care of it. They manage it. I just collect the rent. But before I could get it managed with a rental property, I'm telling you, I had to put several thousand dollars into both of them to fix them up because they were run down. The people that had them before, uh, they had to put all new carpeting in and everything. And I'll be freshly painted on the inside so they all look brand new again. Um, no, I'm not a slum. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm a landlord on a, to a duplex, so I've got a property management company that takes it, is, is managing it. And anything that needs done, done it, to it, they let me know, and then I pay for it. Or they'll pay for it, and I, then they'll take it out of my rent. Um, Yeah, you're try you're right, sweetie. They're trying to get a raise out of me. Uh, oh, thank you, Linda. You're a blessing too. When I said when I watched your periscope like yesterday, it was such a blessing. It looks so good what you made. Even though I don't eat eat uh, meatloaf like that, I like the novel idea the way you made them, and they look so good. Um, that's right. Recipes and fun. Yeah, we don't need drama. Who needs who needs drama? That's the problem. People like to come in here and start drama. They they. They, they love doing that. I don't know if that fake uh, account of me is still out there or not with my picture. Um, if it is, that's illegal. But, you know, I'm not going to worry about it because any, any fake picture that come up of me, and I know it's not me, it's blocked. So it's like blocking myself. There's a Karen Watterson blocked in my, in my uh, broadcast, in, in one of my broadcasts and on my, on my uh, profile. That, but that was somebody that made, a, made one of me. Um, oh, that's no problem. Yeah, I... I figured that's what it was. Um, and it's like Alex said. He says, don't they know what slumlord means? I mean, Alex, when he saw that one day, he said that was not very nice at all. He'd like to punch him in the nose. I know he would. You know, it's people are are so mean nowadays. They're so mean and nasty. But what can you do? You know, such is life. You know, you know they're miserable. They want me to be miserable. But I'm not going to be miserable. You know, I'm going to be a happy person. I come in here to, to share my recipes with you. And to show you what can be done, and if people don't like if people like that, don't like it. They don't have to come in. They can stay away because they just make it um, not a very appealing. You know, they they ruin the periscope. I've had periscopes ruined. I had to hide one because it was ruined because of the chat situation where the guy came in and said what he said in the picture. I had to hide it. Uh, yep, I sure did. I sure did. <laughs> yep. That's true. I know that's what it is, but I do. I take care of my properties. I have to. I and they don't that person does not know me at all. I mean, like I said, I've got a rental property management taking care of it and it had to be fixed up. You couldn't rent it with the, with the way they were because things are so bad in it. So my son went and painted the inside of it. He helped me, you know, he painted it and and took me to Home Depot to buy the lights I needed for it and things I needed for it to fix it up because the three bedrooms already been fixed up several years ago. But it was a two bedroom I needed to rent and got it all fixed up. It looks like a brand new place. It's just gorgeous on the inside. Nice, nice new carpeting and everything all fixed up. Brand, a brand new appliances in the kitchen, new lighting and everything, flooring, everything's brand new. So I'm not a, I'm not a slumlord. They just don't know me. They're just trying to, they're just trying to make make trouble that's all just trying to make trouble but if they know what I what I spent to put to put money in them to, to get that fixed up they wouldn't say that because I spent thousands of dollars in those rentals to fix it up but they're a lot better now than they were a lot better and the ones that are in there now are taking very good care of it because the the property management company makes sure that those things are not run down because um, if they run it down then they'll kick them out but they I get my rent every month so that's a good thing. I get paid on the, by the 15th of the month. Uh, you're, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They don't have anything better to do, so they come in and they say bad things about people. I mean, Alexis has had that herself, where people have said bad things about her. You know, such is life. You know, I don't let it bother me. If they want to do that, let them do it. You know, my goodness. <laughs> I know what is going on and that's all that matters you know I don't really have to explain myself but I thought I'd let you know that I am not a slumlord my daughter knows I'm not 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, it is a good side income. It is very much. I've got that in my in my social security. That's what I get every month. Um, it's a. It, it, I have to have money to live on, and it's a very good side income to to be able to live on. So you're right. It's a very good, very good um, side income. So. But people just don't understand. They just want to cause trouble. Um, everybody that's coming in, this is what my cheese looks like. Um, it's starting to set up. But I have to put it in the refrigerator to finish setting up. And then before I go to bed, I'll put it on a plate. But doesn't it look good? Look at that. Wow. That's, that's awesome the way it came out. My goodness, it came out so nice. I can't believe how nice it came out. And it tastes good, too. Oh, man, it really does. Man. You can make your own cheese. Like I said, you could probably take almonds and make the same recipe. Just change it and make almonds. Um, is that a... No! No, it's not. This is not a bowl of mustard. This is a bowl of cashew cheese. Yeah, I'm not. This is a bowl of cashew cheese. It's supposed to have mustard in it. And it's supposed to have cayenne pepper, but I don't have that. Uh, oh, you are welcome, and thank you for coming in. Thank you so much. Hi, Juan Elizabeth. Good to see you, sis. Here's my cashew cheese. Doesn't it look good? It's starting to set up already, but that's because of the agar agar in it. Um, you can melt this, you can grate it, and you can slice it. That's why I made this like this. With agar agar, it's sli it'll be sliceable. Once it sets up after it's been in the refrigerator, um, set, uh, set it up, and then I'll take it out, and I'll put it on a plate, and I'll, and I'll leave it on a plate. But you can slice it. You know, I don't can't slice it in here. It's kind of hard. But this is real good stuff. Real good. It, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you since you're in here. Thank you. And it has a cup. It has a cup of raw cashews in it. Um, a third cup of water. Yeah, I know. Cashews, cashews are cheaper than almonds. I use more cashews than I do almonds. Uh um, I don't know, um, sh uh, Linda, if I'm going to shape it or not. Um, don't really have to shape it. I think before it sets up in the refrigerator, I'm going to kind of smooth it down a little bit here, though. Just kind of, so it's all the way around them, because it's starting to, so you can see it's starting to set up. But I have to put it in the refrigerator, so I'll smooth it out now before I put it in the refrigerator for later. And, uh, I don't really have to do any more than just that, Sharon, or, or, uh, Linda, and then when I take it out, just dump it over, turn it over onto a plate. There. Now I smoothed out a little bit better. Hmm. Wow. Good. Very good. This is really good. See, now I smoothed it out. Now it looks a little bit better. So that's, so it's supposed to be round shape. And then when I put it on a plate... Oh, good. He's going to get the job, I hope. Oh, my goodness. I hope so. Yeah, I keep praying for my daughter. Those that are in here, um, my son-in-law just lost his job on last Friday. And, uh, you know, it's, it's rough trying to look for a new job. And that's the only income they have, plus her her doing her, uh, day, uh, trying to uh, take care of her sister-in-law. She's, uh, she's like she's like Arlene. She, she provides help. And I'm glad. It, it, it sounds like he's gonna. He's getting a job interview on Monday, and it sounds like he's going to get that job. Sounds so good. I'm glad. Yeah, I've been praying for him. Um, that is so nice. Because, I mean, anybody losing a job any time of year is not good. <laughs> Don, you got booted. Oh, man. Oh. You know, what, I, what I've done to myself already, uh, Sugar Drop, is I'm watching somebody's Periscope. And I'll start swiping to the left and the right. And I end up swiping myself right out of the darn thing. I hate that left and right thing. Uh, I hope he can get it too. I hope so. Does it sound promising? I hope it does. I hope it sounds real promising. Um, because if it's a job he can do. Um, oh, the app crashed? Oh my goodness, I have never heard it crashing like that. Oh my. Wow. 
I guess he didn't want you to be here, Linda. That's terrible that the app crashed. I've never had Periscope do that to me. Not during my broadcast, anyway. Even not during t t people's broadcasts. I've never had it crash on me. I have had a, I've had other apps crash on me. You know, I'll be doing something, you know, and all of a sudden uh, something I'm doing on my iPad will start crashing, and I can't figure out why, but I've never had Periscope crash on me. Um, it happened to you before. You know, I think Periscope is not perfect. They got their problems. Um, yeah, you said Monday. Yeah, we won't know until you see, but um, it's at 3.30. Okay, I'll remember you at 3.30 that. That's 1.30 my time. I'll remember that. So you probably, you won't be able to come in for my Periscope then that on Monday. So I'll just remember. Unless you have your phone with you and you can watch me while he's he's you know, you're, you're in the car or something. Because I'll be on at that time. So I hope he gets it too. You know, yeah, we got to keep praying because prayer changes things, you know. Because I don't, I don't like to hear when anybody loses their job because that's not good. You know, times are what they're, times are so bad and, and that's the only income you have. And without it, you can't make your, 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 meet your bills. I struggled, believe me, before I had the property management company, with my rentals, I struggled to get rent on my renters because they just played me for a fool and didn't want to pay their rent. And I told them, you can't keep doing this or you're going to get evicted. Well, one of them, she finally left. She finally decided she couldn't pay her rent anymore. So on the two bedroom side, the three bedroom side, I told him, I says, I'm going with the property management company. He tried to talk me out of it. I says, nope, I got to go with the property management company. Well, he pays his rent on time now. Uh, Oh, that's true. He's going to be coming home on the bus. Yeah. Then you'll go back and pick him up. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. But anyway, before I had the property management company, they, they just didn't want to pay their rent properly. And I, and I was lucky I got the rent every month. But I get it every month now. Unless there's something now. I will say this. My rent was cut short on the, on the months. Last year in April was a bad month. Year, yeah, a year ago this in April. I only got four hundred dollars that month because from both sides because there were so many things that had to be done that um, needed to be fixed up that that's all the rent I got because they they had things they had to repair and they just take they you know they just took it out of the rent you know and I I really suffered that month but oh after that things went real good things are are going fine now and and everything's fixed up and you know so it, it's tough at first when you. When things break down, you know, and everything breaks at once <laughs> and everything, you know. But thank goodness everything got repaired. And I had a brand new window put in on, um, just a few years ago on the three-bedroom side. And that window wasn't in there very long. And guess what? A bird flew into it and cracked it. Well, it stayed not fixed for a long time because I couldn't afford to fix. Finally, um, got it fixed. I got a brand new picture. And it was about 400 and some dollars for that picture window. They, the property management went and got different estimates, and they finally come up with an estimate for four hundred dollars. Is well, that's the cheapest you could get it. You're not gonna get it any cheaper than that. So that's why I took that estimate, got the brand new window in there. It's I don't know why a bird. I guess it was so clean a window we couldn't see out of it and just flew right into the window. So <laughs> so it's you know. But oh my goodness, it's, but I'm so glad that I've got a, a property management company taking it over, and helps me that I don't have to try to go over there and try to fix things which I can't my son would have to do it you know it saves me anything that needs to be done they have they hire people to do it and then, then just take it off the rent and it works better that way you know and then I just have to put it on my taxes as expense every year so it works better that way those people just coming in here's what my cashew cheese looks like I smooth it all out so I think I'm gonna leave it like this and when I take it out of the uh dump it over later after it's been set up in the refrigerator then I'll just put it on my plate I think I'll wait until I it sets up though and I got it on a plate before I, before I post it up on Facebook and it shouldn't take very long to set this up I'm gonna keep checking the time on it and check it real close it should take maybe an hour or two maybe it's already trying to set up now as you can see so it shouldn't take very long to set up in the refrigerator and then when it does then I could post this up on Facebook give you the recipe Tell you how I made it. Now this is this is a picture of it. If you can barely see that in the corner, this is what it looks like. Sliced. See, that's what it looks like. Very, very good. It's, it's a very simple. Um, it's a round. Just put into a round, round bowl or whatever. Hi, darling Linda. Good to see you. Look at my cashew cheese.
doesn't that look good? I've smoothed it out. It's got to go in the refrigerator to finish setting up. It's already set up now. And there's Kristen because of the agar agar I put in it. That's what that's what thickens it. Man, um, oh, thank you, Linda. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. You know, we can't let them get to us like that. You know, absolutely. You know, can't, can't let somebody put me down because you know something? We're all worth more than what somebody says we are. You know, somebody puts me down. I'm worth, I'm better than that. I'm worth more than that. I'm worth everything to God. So if they want to put me down, let them because to God, I'm worth a lot. You know, you know, so, and I'm thank you for that, that, that you, that you lift me up because, uh, it's real easy to, to want to get upset about it. Is that the same same thing then in the recipe? What do you mean? Um, this is, yeah, I just showed you. This is what, I, yes, this is what I just made. What I showed you here, yes, this is the cashew cheese. That's just what I made. It has to set up in the refrigerator, and then after it sets up, then I take it out of here, and I put it, put it on a plate, and it becomes a round a round block of cheese and then you can slice it you can grate it and it also melts because the woman that, that, that wrote this recipe she's tried all three and she says it does every bit of it it's got carrot in it it's got tahini in it it's got cashews is the main ingredient um, <laughs> yes it sure is on Sunday absolutely out yeah. my daughters on my daughters and, and my son's mother and I'm sure that neither one of them appreciate me being called names. I know my son wouldn't. My daughter doesn't either. You know, um, it, it, it hurts. You know, I, it's the same thing as I wouldn't want my daughter being called names or my son being called names. It's the same thing. It happens. There's, pe there's crazy people in the world. They just love making trouble for other people. But if we lift each other up, that's what it takes. Lift each other up and say, well, we, we deserve better than what we're getting. We don't deserve the stuff that they're dishing out to us. You know, Oh, you missed it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you were getting your food. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, that's okay. Well, didn't have any more drama. It's just that we're talking about that the sugar drop said that if anybody comes in and puts me down, she's going to lift me up. She's going to lift me up more than what they put me down. So that's good, you know. Um, do we have to do that. We have to lift each other up. You know, and be there for them. Um, and I appreciate you making me a moderator on your scope too, Linda. I appreciate that a lot. And you know, I will not let you down. Whenever I come to your periscope and I see any problem arise, I will take care of it. I will not let you down. Um, because uh, I, I, I'm, I've got several moderators, and um, you're welcome. And and uh, I love the fact that. That's why I have moderators. I know Alexis at one time had moderators, and I don't know why she stopped having them, because she doesn't always see the comments that come across. And um, her approach sometimes is a little hot, a little little harsh when it comes to, to uh, talking to the to the trolls. I know I, I saw one time on the replay how she got on you, Linda, that for, for talking to a troll and, and she thought you were egging that troll on. She said she was going to mute you if you didn't if you didn't stop. And I thought well, you were trying to help, but you know, it's 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 really it's really sad. I mean, she she needs moderators so that they can take care of it. She doesn't have to worry about it. Um, oh, sometimes they do. Sometimes they do. Um, sure drop they'll start they'll start moderating things that they don't deserve to moderate you know it's just like Vanita was in here yesterday and and she and she uh, muted Alexis and that says you have to unmute her I don't know why she muted Alexis in the first place well and after that uh, she came she had her own periscope but I told her to, but then you come along and unmuted her which was good but I don't know why she muted her in the first place she has a tendency sometimes to, to get go a little fast. I love her and everything, but she has a tendency to mute just a little too fast. I may take her off as a moderator, too, if it's going to keep happening. But um, at, least it, at least it got corrected. She doesn't always come in here, so I may remove her as a moderator. I've got more moderators than I really need because some of them don't come in here at all. You know, so <laughs> Valerie can't always make it in here because she's sleeping because she works for a trick. I understand that. So, uh, 
but I, I count on you moderators. I know you three, special you three moderators, I can always count on to be there for me. And I, you can count on me when I'm in your periscopes, Linda, that I'll take care of any problems that arise. If I see something being said that shouldn't be said, I will take care of it. I will mute it or I'll block it. I will get it out of there because I will not stand for it. I do that on any other periscopes. I, I, you know, If I'm not a moderator, I take care of them, do what I have to do to report them or what have you. You're welcome because uh, that's all I can do. Now, I was a moderator for a gal at 830 that... He, I, and I don't know why she stopped. She took the moderators off. She took all of us. She was two or three of us, and she took all of us off. So now she she moderates herself. But she's always looking at the screen anyway, so she can see who's saying what. So she can moderate them herself. Um, oh, you know, you give them a warning. Absolutely. you got to give them a warning first. Absolutely. Right. Right. Well, the ones that say what they say to me, uh, I don't know if it would be any good to warn them or not because what they're saying is mean and vindictive. It's just the thing I just tell them all. I love you anyway. I don't hate you for what you said. I love you and may God bless you and I hope you're safe someday. That's all I can say. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to... Um, if I warn them, it's not going to do any good because they want me to get mad. That's the reason why they're doing what they're doing. They want me to get mad at them. So they... So, cause they, they I don't know. They feed off of it for some reason when, they, when I get mad at them. But when I come back at them and tell them, well, God bless you anyway... They, they can't, they don't know what to say because they're not expecting it. So I have to do what I have to do, you know. It's, you know, you're bound to get those. If, if, I, if I wouldn't have seen that person that my that Laura mentioned, probably would have come in and said something really bad, but saw it before when they came in. So I was able to collect, get it taken care of. Uh, yeah, they're just troublemakers, absolutely. And it makes you wonder if they have any respect for their family members, their mother, their father, their sister, their brother, aunts and uncles or whatever, children. Makes me wonder if they even have any respect for their own family. Means that they have disrespect in here. Makes me think that they don't, they aren't respectful at all. They don't know how to be respectful. They don't know what it is to respect their elders. And I am this person's elder, you know, because I know right now I'm the oldest one in here and, I, and they don't respect their elders. Well, you know, that's too bad, but it is what it is, you know. They're try I think I think in all essence they're trying to get me out of here. They don't want me on Periscope, so they figure if they get me mad long enough that I'll just leave and I won't come back on. But they got another thing coming because I'm not I'm not leaving. The more they say it, the more it makes me want to stay in here. You know, even even if they didn't say it, I'd still stay in here. So they're not gonna get rid of me that easily. I've I've made up my mind, I'm staying in here for you guys. I'm here for you because I promised you I would be and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna back down. Back down. I'm gonna simply um, tell them this is the way I feel, and, and that's it, and, and they can deal with it, you know. If they don't like it, they can lump it, you know, because we know it's the, it's the enemy. We know we just know it's Satan trying to cause trouble. The Satan's out to destroy everybody, so we know that's what he's trying to do. So I just don't let it get to get me down, and I just take care of it when I need to take care of it, and that's why I'm here for you, and you're here for me, and you catch things that I don't catch, because I would have never seen that if, if you wouldn't have mentioned it. If Laura wouldn't have mentioned that there was somebody coming in and saying something bad again, I would have never seen it. So I was able to block that person. You muted him and I blocked him. Let them try to make another account. They're bound to do that. They're, they're bound to make another account, you know, with somebody else's name or something. You know the names that they're using are fake names. Because that, there, there are people, there's a person on in my, in my in Facebook with the name of Bill Barnes. And, and this guy calls himself Billy Barnes, so I know it's not him. So it's they're they're taking people's names and they're just they're just finding them and they're and they're um, using them as as a, you know to to throw me off guard. But I'm not thrown off guard because I know I and I'm I'm not stupid. And I I figured everything out. So anyway, I got I've got oh yeah it's three thirty. I got to get out and do some yard work and I've got to turn off. Oh, I'm not going to yard work, but I got to turn my sprinkler on before it gets too late i got to turn it in. I'm going to get this in the refrigerator so it'll set up so I can get up on Facebook later. Um, and I've got a few little dishes to do, and i got a little cleanup in here to do, and I want to do that. But I thank you all for coming in and being here for me. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the tofu lasagna tomorrow. It just depends. I, I want to do it, but then again, I may do something different. So we'll see. But but just be waiting for me to come on tomorrow. Hi, good to see you. Here's my cashew cheese. Um, yeah, I know, I know. Yep, that, yeah, I know. Uh, yep, yep, you're right. 
That's that's true. Using a lot of pictures, the same. Yep, same pictures. You're right, Orlean. They 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 think that they're that I'm not smart enough. Just like that, Charles Diana. He Diana. He thinks I'm not smart enough to know who he is. He uses the same picture every time. He just he just changes his his uh, ID. He puts his name with it with a bunch of numbers on the back of it, thinking that nobody's gonna know it's him. We're not stupid. We know what he looks like. All we have to do is compare his picture. It's the same picture. It may be different poses, but it's the same person. And he keeps coming in over and over and over again because Alexis will message me while he's back. So she tells me, well, these ones I've blocked, so she'll tell me well, I have to block them too because he's after her and I. So I don't know if he's after anybody else, but he's after her and he's after me. So we gotta, we got to nip it in the bud and take care of him. So if you guys ever see a Charles Diano trying to follow you and he's a creepy-looking guy, block him immediately. Block him because he's, he's useless. He's, he's just a troll, he's just a troublemaker, and you don't want him in your periscopes. So, anyway, I think I'm going to get off now so I can take care of this and get it in the refrigerator. Like I said, I don't know what I'll be doing tomorrow, but I'm going to come in and do something. So I thank you all for coming in, and I hope that your your night is a blessed one. You get a good night's rest. And until we meet again, take care, God bless, and bye-bye.